this is Colady, your professional graphic designer. In, in this video, I'll be teaching you guys how you can design this body flyer you are seeing on the screen. I will teach you how you can design this type of body flyer. But before diving into today's video, if you are a new viewer, don't forget to smash on the subscribe button and put on the notification bell. And as for the returning viewers, thank you. I really appreciate. So the first thing we'll be doing in designing this type of body flyer is I will be changing the background color to our wanted background to our wanted color. So in the in this this in designing this body flyer, I will be using some I'll be using some resources. You can get the download link to these resources in my video description. So I will have to import the these resources from my gallery. So I will import the resources from my gallery. This is it. So this is the resources. This is the splash. This is the splash effect. So the next thing I will be doing is that I will lock it to my screen interface to, to prevent it from from moving when I'm using other other resources I import. So the next thing I will be doing now is that I will import the celebrant image from my gallery. So this is the celebrant. This is the celebrant image. Do this is not what we want to do. What we want to do is that we want to mask the body of the celebrant into the slash effect. And the we are not masking all the body, we are not masking it into the splash effect. We want to mask only the body into the splash effect and put the head outside. So, what we are going to do now is that we will mask the body. Let me mask the body. So you enable you enable it. As you can see. As you can see. So you click on the mark button. Let me mask this again. It, it is not well masked. So you click on the mark button. So what you just have to do now is that you copy this edge. You copy it. So you you make it invisible. So you make it invisible. So the next thing you are going to do now is that you click on the former image. Let me click on the former image. So after clicking on the former image, you go back to mask. You go back to mask so instead of masking it in this time around you mask instead of masking it in you mask it out so you click on out as you can see i've masked it out now the body is now showing instead of the instead of the head so you click on mark it so what we'll be doing now is that we'll be saving this body into our we'll be saving it so I will have to make this splash event to I'll have to make it invisible. So you change the background to you change it to transparent background. So you save it to your you save it to your gallery. You save as image. You save as image. So you save it to your gallery. So after saving it to your gallery, you will redo all the action so that we can re we return to the former to the former to the former things we are doing before. So you redo, you undo instead. So you undo, you use this arrow to undo everything. So you make this splash event. You make it feasible again. You make the head feasible. You make the head feasible. You delete this body you delete this body you will delete it so you delete it so what we'll be doing now is that 
you click on the splash effect after clicking on the splash effect you scroll down to texture this is texture so you click on texture then you click on gallery so you click on gallery after clicking on gallery you locate the image we just saved you locate it in your pixel app folder so this is so as you can see the image is now masked into the it has been masked into the splash face so you what you just have to do now is that you intersect the head with the you intersect the head with the with the body let me zoom it out so that we can see we can see it very well so as you can see i've intersect let us insert intersect it very well so the body has been intersect with the with the head now so we mask you will ma so you will match the head together with the you will match the head together with the body to match together you click on this place after clicking on the place you click on this place so after clicking you 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 will click on these two box click on these two box then you click on this you click this so you click this so you press ok so the body and the head has been merged together so you bring it to the middle like this so the next thing i will do is that i will be you can see i've marked i've masked the head i've masked it out why i put the body inside the splash event so the next thing we'll be doing now is that we'll be importing another resources we'll be using from the gallery so let me locate the resources so this is another resources we'll be using so i will change this color i will change the color to color white i'm using for my design so let me reduce the size So I will put it, I will put it here. So I will lock it to the screen interviews in order to prevent it from moving when I'm moving further resources. So I will import another resources from the gallery. This is another resources I'll be using. I will change the color to color color white so i will create a circle a circle shape as you can see this is a circle shape i will change the color to my background color So, as you can see, I will match this together with the previous resources I just import. So, I will match it together. After matching it together, I will lock it to my screen interface. As you can see, I have locked it to my screen interface. So, I will import another resources I will be using for my gallery. This is another resources I will be using. Let me reduce the size a little bit. So I will change the color to color color white. So I will lock it to the screen the tabs. So the next thing I will be doing is that I will have to import the splash event. I will have to import it again. So I will import it from my gallery. So this large vid, I want to put it by the corner here. I 
will copy it so I will log into my screen interviews so the next thing I'll be doing now is that I've import all the resources I'll be using so I will create the test so I will click on edit using the pencil button so I will create the test I want to create so happy so after create I will change it to the to the font I want to use I'm using taken by future this is not pixel app font but I will be putting a download link where you can download the font I will put in it in the description in the video description so I will change it to taken by future so I will click on ok so let me increase the size looking at this you can see the the test is not well showing as the H is not fully showing so you click on padding you click on padding to make the test show well so you click on padding so you click on padding you left parties you click on left padding you increase the size you you, you you click on left padding as you can see the test is now fully showing so let me increase the size the test a little bit so i will move it here as you can see so in order to prevent the test to be showing on the on the steady brand i would i will use this button to take it to the back to to back i will click on this button so it will be taken to the back to back as you can see so the next thing i will be doing now is that i will copy this happy in order to edit it into by the so let me copy it copy so i will click on edit by the so this is by the so I will reduce the padding here. So let me reduce the padding. So as you can see, this is by the by the happy by the. So the next thing I'll be doing is that I will be creating a stroke line. A stroke line. Just like I've been creating my test. So I will be creating a stroke line. I will click on test edit so i will clean this and i will i will be i will be pressing on stroke line now as you can see this is stroke line so the next thing i want to create this stroke line into circle so the next thing i'll be doing is that let me put a little stroke line so the next thing i'll be doing now is that to put this stroke line into circle i will move to off off this is cough this is cough so i will click on cough so uh, as you can see the the stroke is now coughed let me put it here it's not it's not fully it's not fully cough let me cover it a little bit so as you can see the stroke is now it's now in cough format now in call format so the next thing i'm going to do is that i will copy the stroke let me copy it copy so i will move down to rotate this is rotate rotate to rotate the curve so let me rotate this so i will bring it here So I will bring it here. As you can see, so I will lock it to my screen interviews in order to prevent it from moving when I'm moving other resources. So the next thing I will be doing now is that I will put in the 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 date, the celebrant, the by the date of the celebrant. I will put in it on this circle. So 
the month is January January 15 so I will change the font to the font I want to use this is the font so I will change it to Bugalu Bugalu regular January so I will increase the size let me increase the size so this is the this is the month so the next thing I will do now is that I will create the date like I've been creating other test so the date is 15th so I will create the date the date so I will change the font to my wanted font I'll be using mem mem font mem font this font the font is pixel app font so I will be using mem font so I will increase the size Sorry, so I will I will increase the size. As you can see, I've so I will lock the date to the screen screen interface now. So after locking the date, the next thing I will be doing now is that I will create the the name of the celebrant. The name is let me create the name of the celebrant. So I will change it to my wanted font. To my wanted font. I will be using this font. Amaranth boot. So that is the name of the font I will be using. So after I will I will increase the text size. I'll break it down here. So I will create another text. To create the second name, so I will change the font to the font I want to give the second name. So the the font is Amaranth Regular. So Amaranth Regular. So as you can see now, I will log the name to the interviews. So what I will be doing now is that I will create another test. Long life in prosperity. So I will change it to, I will change it to, I will change the font. So, so this is how you can create a body flyer on your pixel lab app. Thank you.